And I don't know where that live going to because I are, it's are, not showing are, up. On, are, are we reading from the Cefer or are we reading? From we're gonna do a combination of both because sometimes it's easier to read the okay. English. Amen. So so we we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna start off uh, for the people joining us right now. We'll join us or listen to this on. Uh, YouTube, uh, but as is not on YouTube, let y'all know that too. <laughs> mm -hmm. <Yeah. laughs> that what he told me. Anyway, uh, or Facebook. <laughs> anyway, or we want to or, or TikTok. <laughs> we or TikTok. We want. We want. He. This is the opportunity to share to to all of us though the uh, the wonder of waking up, recognizing the the. Our Father in Heaven, uh, recognized in the Old Testament as Yahuwah. And the reason we bring that up again is the fact is that that name is was replaced by the word Lord, L-O-R-D, capitalized 6,000 times. And we talk about the fact is that we're still going to continue to talk about the fact is that that name was prophesizing our, uh, our Christ. Uh, because the name says, behold the hands and behold the nails in the hand. And that, which is amazing to, to recognize that in the Old Testament, he was prophesizing that I'm sending a savior to you. You know, uh, matter of fact, we do know, recognize that the first time the mention of a savior was in Genesis 3.15, right? When mm -hmm. we were talking about Mary, I meant Mary Eve, uh, your child, uh, shall bruise his head, but the Antichrist, the serpent, will bruise uh, Christ's heel, and the heel really represents the death of Christ on the cross. But the resurrection <laughs> is, is, is where we have our salvation. I think Paul said it, right? If Christ is not risen, uh, our faith is in vain. It's just yeah, it's it's, worthless. It's, it's, it's a temporary worship. Exactly. And that's what it's saying is that Christ it's, it's was a saying, thing. It's, is it just a temporary thing? Is this is that relevant? Uh so so Yahuwah uh also is a for most of y'all is an Afrocentric uh from the Middle East, you call it Asia or Africa. Uh and that's what we want to let you know that it's it's a world faith, it's not a black or white. Matter of fact, it's not we ain't gonna we're gonna drop black altogether because that's that's part of a social construct, a caste system. And uh some people, many of have, have bought into the caste system, but we're letting you know we're not playing that caste system. You can't put me in the caste system. You can you can you can put in your mind I'm in a caste system or we're in a caste system, but we're not. We are human beings and we are children of God. And this is what we want to be able to show people who wants to be part of the body of Christ is understand that the origin of our Savior is from Africa and Middle East, uh, because that's where Egypt was. And we're going to show scriptures in that. But we need you to understand that he wants us as a world as a whole nation, a country, and, and, and individually to be one in God. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So first of all, Brother Addison, uh, I want, we're going to use some scriptures to, do, to lay our foundation into that, which is dealing with the uh, Second Chronicle 714. And when it comes up, get a chance like you to read that. First. Okay. You see it? Yeah. yeah. Second Chronicles 714. It says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and mm -hmm. seek my face and mm -hmm. turn from their wicked way, then Come will on. I hear them and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now, and, and the, the reason I'm saying we read that first, people, is that when you talk about the caste system, when you talk about uh, white supremacy, black supremacy, Hispanic supremacy, any other supremacies you want to do, is the fact is that those are things of pride opposed to those things that 
God wants us to do is to recognize his name because that's obviously when when he said his name right brother Addison you said right which are called by my name we need to make sure we can we got the right name people <laughs> if, if we're going to be called by his name amen amen come on y'all so that's why we said his name is Yahuwah that's in the Bible. You go to your concordance, you'll see it for yourself. You can go to the see for Bible, you'll see it for yourself. His name is Yahuwah. And Yahuwah name represents the calling and the prophecy of Christ himself coming. Behold the hands, behold the nails in the hands. If my people that are called, which are called by my name, people, we can preach and we're gonna keep going. Cause you, but you can see you can just get riled up with that, brother. You, are you tracking with the? Are you all hearing the words that are coming out of my mouth? Come on, people. We got to make sure that we understand that we got to be focused on the name. When he said that, you see that, brother Allison, what we were talking about, right? Yeah, if my yeah. people are called by my what? What? My name. My name. If my people see you, see, you you can preach that. You can almost have a whole sermon just on the yeah. fact that why you're trying, why you, what you just said earlier, people, brother Asim was talking about the fact is, is it's, it's a point where you we're just gonna plant the seed and let you know who his name is. You can you can you can receive it, or you can just digest it and meditate on it. But we know it's important for us to know his name. He says it so many times. Even Christ said, ask the Father in my, my name. That means you don't play with the name if that name is important. Just like you write a dog on check. If I if I write a check for if I use Addison's check and write my name on it, it ain't gonna work. Not in my the bank account. Gonna, the, the bank gonna <laughs> kick it back. It should kick it back, right? Yeah, yeah. So, 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 first of all, we want to make sure people understand the importance of knowing his name. Uh, I had one guy on the uh, on YouTube, brother Addison, that asked a comment, said, "Well, what was his name before uh, the seventeen oh four name Jesus?" Right, came up, and I told him, "Iesus." You know, remember we said that that was a Greek. That was the yeah. Greek translation, yeah. Yeah. but but the bottom line of a translation it should all refer back to the original name, and it should have been Joshua if you wanted to use Yeshua. Yeshua, yeah. you could have used Joshua, right? Because that's that's what son of none. Remember that they, yeah. they call him Joshua. Uh, so if you wanted to use an English word, it should have stayed with. Joshua, but even Joshua was still a J, and J wasn't invented until what yeah. so many years. We and we know we you seen the yeah. C for name of Joshua, right? Is, it's Husha. Yeah, but what's what's fascinating is that you find the word Joshua in the transliteration, but yeah. yet you don't find it for the Messiah. Come on now. It's, it's what, weird. what is that about? Yeah, and, and that's what I'm trying to say. So we we we're, we're people saying say the importance of, of 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 recognizing his name is because he's only referring to if my people are called by my name, and therefore we need to get the name right. And the other point is this is a Hebrew name. It's not a Greek name. It's a Hebrew name. And, and some of y'all sit there, and that's what some of you are sitting there saying. Well, I speak English. Got you. And the manuscripts are written in what? Greek. Got you. But the people they're talking about and referring to, the names referring to are Hebrew. And therefore, we need to go by the Hebrew tongue. All right. Next one. Orientation. He is not from the West. People and we, it's just for you to know that we, because the system lies to us too much for reasons that they have on their own. Is that Christ? I mean, we forget. I had one time, Brother Anderson, where I was sitting there in Germany talking to somebody and I said Christ was a Jew. And I had an actual guy from the South sitting there and said, How do you say Christ is a Jew? I said, What? It's all in the Bible. 
<laughs> it's in the Bible. He's a Jew. <laughs> he's from Judea. My friend, he's from the tribe of Judah. Uh, I, I think that that's what Jew is derived from. Hey, you know, Jew. Yeah. Th th this guy actually thought he was not a Jew. Yeah. That, you know that? That'll get you for calling him a Hebrew. Yeah. Oh, Hebrew is just way off the 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 the, the, uh, the map. You know what I mean? But he yeah. is a yeah. You Hebrew. can call him that because that 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 would really mess him up. <laughs> you know what? They definitely not used to hearing the Hebrew word, right? And the Hebrew consists of the twelve tribes of Israel. Yeah, uh, is in the Book of Revelation, people. Just we we have to open our minds and understand this is not a Western culture. This is a world faith and world ministry. Uh, and he, matter of fact, and you got to remember the region it came from. Look at the scripture. I thought there for Brother Allison to read for y'all real quick. This is uh, Matthew 2, 13 through 15, the flight to okay. Egypt. Yep. This is when, and when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, Jacob, saying, I put Joseph, yeah. Uh -huh. And take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt and be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Adonai, the Lord, by the prophet, saying, out of Egypt have I called my son. Yeah, and where's Egypt, brother Addison? Egypt is in the continent of northern Africa. <laughs> there is nothing, there, look, there is, it's, it's not east of a thing. I don't even know where I, east, <laughs> east came from. I know. I know. That's true. East of what? That's enough, that part of the social country. Yeah. Because they're trying to say Asia is in the east. Yeah. But. But, but this is, is west. But the crazy. This is west of Asia. <laughs> yeah, it is west of. Ooh, I was sitting there thinking, uh, because yeah, that's because when you go up, if you look at the map, right, you, if you go north of Africa across the the whatever the water that's separating Europe from Africa, they right above each other, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so that's interesting too. Where the Middle East word came from? Interesting. Yeah. We may need to check that study for that. They had to make, so, they so, had, go ahead. To make up something. I was just saying they had to make something up to 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 go go with their narrative. Yeah, because it's really talking about the because the West. Yeah, it's another. Oh golly, these people doing it again. It's another social construct. Yeah, the world social construct. We're gonna put you in the east while we're in the west, and then we we'll always talk about the west, right? Yeah. <laughs> so now we're talking about the fact is people. It's important for you to understand that he came from Africa. He was sent in Africa. The scriptures say they're gonna call his son out of Africa because Egypt is in Africa. And I think some translations said Africa. Um, yeah. And I think even the Cephas, what Cephas said, do you remember what Cephas said on that? I could have sworn that word was Africa, but let me see. You got Cephas? What, what was the, the scripture? That, that scripture of Matthews, the one we just read. Matthew chapter 2, 15, verse 15, 2, 15. It says... Out of Mitz Mitzrayim. So that's still Egypt then, right? Mitzrayim have I called, yeah. Yeah, okay. So they they stayed the same. Egypt, let me, Egypt. Let me look at, at this book. Um, let's see what it says real quick. Man, this this book is is so weird. I gotta get uh, thumb taps because the books are separated in different ways. Uh, 215. 
to her that I might be fulfilled, which was spoken Yah by his prophet saying, out of, yeah, Mistrium. Mistrium, okay. Which is, Mistrium. Which is interesting. Mistrium, which is interesting. That was also where uh, uh, the most, the children of Israel came from, weren't they? Yeah. They came from out of Egypt. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Okay, even, right, they, so now, in, even they left. Yeah, they, they left south. Egypt. <laughs> yeah, they went south, right? Yeah, they, into, not too far. South. Not, they still call. They, they still <laughs> call that Africa. <laughs> they did, didn't they? Oh man, these people. Oh, so now we're talking about the fact, people. Just to let you understand that this the. The region where they came from is not a Western area. That's the main thing we want to be able to show. Now we're on top of the fact is that's why we need to don't worry about where people came from, but focus on the unity if he wants us to do as far as accepting one another, right? And here's the scripture, and we read the Old New Testament. We're reading the New Testament, Brother Addison. This one is James chapter 2. Uh, verse 1 is talking about the sin of partiality. We're not supposed to do partiality. That's why the caste system doesn't work either because it's playing that, that function, isn't it? When you think yeah. about it. Yeah. Or oh, social constructs that of higher and lower. Look what, the, look what the scriptures say concerning people dealing with uh, trying to play partiality. Go, what, what you got, brother? What you got? James chapter 2. Okay. You see it, right? Yeah. It okay. says, brethren of mine. I like that. Mm. Mm, come on, respective now. person, guard the faith of our Adonai, Yeshua Mashiach. Come on, now. For in there come unto you, unto your synagogue, a man with a gold ring in goodly apparel. And there come in also a poor, poor man in vile raiment. And ye have respect to him that wears the fine clothing and say unto him, sit here in a good place and say to the poor, stand there or sit here by my footstool. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm looking a little bit for you. Okay. Are ye not then partial in yourselves and well, are become judges of evil thoughts? They call, call it evil Hark too. Partial is yeah. evil. Hark and my beloved brethren, have not Elohim chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he has promised to them that love him? What? But you have you despised, mean the poor? Yes. You have despised the poor. Mm. Do not rich men oppress you? Yes. Draw you before the judgment seats? Wow. Right away. Yeah, they'll sue you. Sue you in a heartbeat. And they, and they know they can beat you because you got no money to fight them. Go Do ahead. Not, yeah. Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by that by the which ye are called? Oh, that's interesting. Go back to the fact yes. that if my yes. people are called by my name, and yes. if you call by the wrong name, then obviously they blaspheme. <laughs> I got I gotta write down, I gotta write down James 2 7 now. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Hold on a <laughs> the name is is just it's important to know the name. That's why they changed the name, people. Yeah. You that's why they changed the name. And we that's need to, I'm just making sure people y'all y'all need to know the name. That's all we try to say, right, brother? Y'all yeah. need to know the name. Because look, even here is talking to James. <laughs> it says, if ye fulfill the royal mis misvah. According to the scriptures, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You do mm. Come you on, do you do well. But if you have respect of a person, you commit sin mm. and convicted mm. by the Torah as trans transgressors. Yes, sir. I understand we are not bound by the Torah, uh -huh. but we are bound by love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Matter of fact, the 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 uh, Ten Commandments is separate from the rest of the. I mean, yeah. It's in the Torah, yeah. but those are God's commandments Himself, the Ten yeah. Commandments, right? Yeah. That's yeah. why they go to the abortion thing and say, "Well, that's murder." Yeah, yeah. That's what He also said. 
uh, if you if you the, you commit adultery, that's also yeah, a death sentence. Same, look, same, same <laughs> sentence. <laughs> <laughs> he put in there, didn't it? Go ahead. Same, same sentence. <laughs> For whosoever shall guard the whole Torah and yet offend in one point is guilty of all. It's all right. Matter of fact, I think we've got another part of that here. There it is. Go ahead. It says, For he that said, Do not break wedlock, said also, Do not kill. Now, if you do not break wedlock, yet if you kill, you have become some idea. a transgressor. Of the Torah. Uh huh. So speak ye, and so do, huh. as they that shall be judged by the Torah of liberty. The liberty, uh huh. For he shall have judgment without mercy, uh -huh. that has showed no mercy. No mercy. And mercy rejoices against judgment. Come on. Now, now, the people, listen to what he did. Listen what, to, to that to mean that even if y'all played this social construct of, of if you came up with a whole new concept of race, meaning you are an inferior race and I'm a, and I, I, I'm the imperial, you know, superior race, mm -hmm. you, you, you're supposed to show love to your neighbor, not hate. Yeah. You're not supposed to break any of the commandments of God. Thou shall not commit adultery. Thou shall not steal. Thou shall not bear false witness. Thou shall not commit adultery. They, they, they're all equal in concerning the scripture. You're saying one point, you're saying it all. Yet somebody convinced you that you can treat somebody just by trying to label somebody yeah. as something different. That's a false witness. It's a false witness. It's a false to label system, somebody false less than. And then didn't do whatever you want to do to them. You see what I'm saying? Let me let, let me yeah. call. Let me let me let me label you something to give me the right to dehumanize you, and you think you're doing God's will. And then to, and God to, is in there. To, go ahead. The crazy thing is that these people they they label they label this. Uh, those of color as yeah. as less than as mm -hmm. as like an animal but yet they yeah. rape that less mm. than so that's bestiality if, if that, that's yeah. what they want to call it you know if 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 we're no different than the beast of burden then you know <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's just so, it, none of it makes sense they, nope, they can't, it does they, can't not. they can't they they try they try to do what 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 a lot of churches are 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 doing they are take, doing yeah they take the they take the basur and they use it as a form of control yes they, sir they, they use the words of elohim in a way that is not meant by elohim they Come on, brother. take bits and pieces and they construct it to produce a thing of their will and not the will of our Abba. Our yeah. Abba. And then they do to create people for cattle and, slavery. And, and that there, oh my goodness, man. You it, see, I'm it's, there. It's such a, a blaspheme to me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, the thing that, that, that really comes to mind when I'm, talking about that is I don't know if you've watched the book of Eli the movie I saw the book of Eli yeah. Washington yeah. how yeah how this 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 one corrupt uh leader of this one uh -huh. region how it was so important for him to get the bible so that he can control the people yep. and yep. control and, and start taking over more mm -hmm. of, of more territory and, and using it to control a lot. He says, because everyone will listen to it. Yep. I can use these words in a way that benefits me. Yeah. And yeah. that's what's being done. That's what's been done. That's what's been done. Yeah. And, 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 and you it's still about being it, done to this day. To this day. And 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 then to me, I'm saying the biggest tragedy. And and brother, as and I talk about it for other people. If some of y'all remember the movie Roots, 
If y'all remember Roots, you remember Kuta Kente? If 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 you yeah. haven't, go look at the movie Roots. Uh, they beat out and changed his name because his name didn't. His name gave a purpose, gave an identity, gave a history from where he came from. So what they do? They changed his name to Toby, and not only did they beat him to submit to a new name. I think the same thing they did in our faith when they changed or hid the name, the Hebrew name of God anyway. Yahuwah. That's I mean, obviously that's not a Western name, and they took it out of our daily scriptures. And then they kept evolving the name on top of that. So my people, I'm saying is, we 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 need to go by what the scriptures say, not what people tell us to do. Uh, and partiality is a sin. Look at this. What's what's uh, Hosea four six said to you? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Destroyed, not confused. You know, it, it goes beyond confusion. Yes, it, it, it goes does. beyond deception. It says yeah. destroyed. Um, yeah, for lack of knowledge, it says because you and, have rejected the knowledge. Yeah, I will also reject you. Yes, that you shall be no priest. Mm. Depart from no. me, I never knew you. <laughs> uh -huh. That's what that's what I mean, didn't it? Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what it is. You seeing, rejected me, seeing you have forgotten the Torah of, of your Elohim. I will also forget your children. Ooh. Ooh. Your and there's a generational thing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. yet people have been taught a system. And the people, I'm just telling you, it's it's important for you. We already talked about the fact that the scripture said you destroy for the lack of knowledge. You don't want to destroy your knowledge. How many souls are died and went to, to destruction? Because he said, destroy for the lack of knowledge. When you leave this world, you either go to the place of eternal life or you go to the place of eternal death. And my point is, Christ came to deliver all, whether you, you know, your skin is all melanated people. Whether you pale melanated <laughs> or you dark, dark melanated. Yeah. Or you brown melanated, because it was all brown, all shade of brown anyway. Uh you you the devil has deceived us, and we gotta understand God wants us to love one another instead of destroying one another. And 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 here, brother Isaac, I want to show this what we did this last I did this last week. I want you to let me see that put it in there. Oh, I put John in there first. I'm gonna go to Isaiah 60. But here's the here's the point I want to show you of the worldview of Christ, the Messiah, the ones that we 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 profess to be our Savior. Now, Jesus is the Western name, but the Hebrew name is Yahusha, Yahusha. But I don't think he's covered in this one anyway. But read the scripture about the oneness. Can you read that for us? John seventeen verse nine. 